even those things that you think they're actually fresh one or two things you find out that so many contaminations and so i really don't say big deal about it as far as i'm concerned well, I would prefer natural foods, those without fertilizer, but where we do get that? So, you buy what is available. So today on Battleboss, we'll be speaking to a doctor who will be explaining to us in details what GMO foods is all about. And later on, we'll go on the street of Lagos to find out from Nigerians if they know what GMO foods are. Do you know what GMO foods is or are GMO no. foods? No. Uh, no, this is my first time of, of hearing it. Hearing this. Of, uh, that's what I want to find out first. So, so you don't know it? I, do, I may have an idea, but... <laughs> <laughs> you want to use that idea? Yeah. Literally stands for G, genetic, M, modified, O, organisms. It's a technology under biotechnology in which we move genes across the species barrier or what we call transgenic technology so you take genetics genes from one species that normally in nature and in evolution does not cross mate or have intercourse or exchange genetic material with another species for example you take genetics from a pig and force it into a rat or from a man and force it into a horse or you go from a bacteria into tomatoes or you can go from carrots into cassava two species that normally do not cross pollinate or mate or exchange genetic material are now forced to cross that barrier GMO means genetically modified you know food all those items that are not uh, organically produced Around the mid-1990s, it was in the U.S. when this was first introduced commercially into the agricultural system. It was done in a rather insidious, backdoor, quiet way. There was not much public discussion. There wasn't much university intellectual discourse. There was what seemed to be a very concerning approach to introducing this technology into the people's food supply without the people knowing that this was going on. Okay, so why should we be concerned or worry about it? Well, from different perspectives. You can look at it from the agricultural perspective, from the economic perspective, from the medical health perspective. What um, the scientists do in the laboratory is to um, induce um, uh, growth in a certain uh, you know, products so as to make the production time faster. So I don't think uh, that is uh, dangerous to our health because uh, okay. there is the World Health Organization that makes sure that uh, everything human beings um, uh, consume uh, you know, okay. So the idea that uh, GMO foods are dangerous I think is consumer fear. Have you ever been to the forest? The forest is almost always green. When you travel on Lagos Ebano Expressway, Abekuta Benin Road, it's almost always green. Does anybody put fertilizer? There are ways to farm naturally in God's wisdom, in the wisdom of nature that will give you abundance and utilize the things nature provides. We don't need man-made chemicals to augment our agriculture. There are many natural techniques of keeping soil rich, keeping the soil nutrient high. Would you buy foods that are genetically modified? Ah, no. I like natural food. Since it's not natural, it's not advisable to buy it because technically, to some extent, cancer has been traced to foods being grown with substances. So I don't think I will put my money on it. You can't really be sure that anything is fresh right now. Come to think of this, even those things that you think they are actually fresh, one or two things you find out that so many contaminations and so I really don't say big deal about it as far as I'm concerned. Well, I would prefer natural foods, those without fertilizer, but where would you get that? So, you buy what is available. Guys, it's really hard to tell which food is genetically modified. This is for for while this is when I go. Nigerians should just be aware of GMO foods and also to be conscious about it. That's all about GMO foods today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram by searching for Batterbox. I am Odu and your OT and this is Batterbox.com.